Burr. Unpacking the Chill. The Language of Cold. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're diving into a phrase that might seem simple at first glance but is rich with expressive power. Burr. It's cold. Whether you're new to English or looking to polish your fluency, understanding these expressions can add a lively touch to your conversations. So, grab a warm cup of tea, and let's get started. When someone says, burr, they're not just making a random sound. This is an example of onomatopoeia, a word that phonetically imitates, resembles, or suggests the sound that it describes. In this case, burr mimics the shivering or chattering of teeth that happens when someone is cold. It's a universal expression of feeling chilly and is a great way to convey that feeling quickly and vividly. Remember, onomatopoeia is all about the sound effect, making the experience more relatable. Now, let's break down the second part of our phrase, it's cold. This might seem straightforward. After all, it's a simple statement about the temperature. However, in English, Stating the obvious can serve as a conversation starter, a way to express discomfort, or even to seek agreement or sympathy from others. It's not just about the weather. It's about sharing an experience or finding common ground with someone else. When you combine burr with it's cold, you get a vibrant expression that's more than the sum of its parts. It's a way to vividly express how you're feeling, both physically and emotionally, about the cold. This phrase can be used in various situations, from casual conversations with friends to more formal contexts where you want to add a touch of personality to your speech. It's an excellent example of how English speakers use language to convey not just facts, but feelings and shared experiences. And that wraps up our exploration of burr. It's cold. We hope this video has warmed your understanding of this chilly expression and shown you how English speakers use sound and simplicity to convey complex experiences. Remember, language learning is not just about memorizing words and rules. It's about embracing the culture and emotion behind those words. Thanks for watching and stay warm out there.